Hey, what's up guys? This is Team Hard Life Captain Albert Sartuccia and we've got a Pen Fathom 2 right here. It's a casting special. However, customer brought it in because they hit a bird on cast. So as I was going, it hit and it blew up his reel. So on that note, he got a major backlash and has not been able to get it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to get it out for him. And we'll see what happens here. So, what I want to do... Yeah, gotta fight. Gotta fight. Yeah, yeah. I think I gotta fight. Got a lot of stress on my mind. It's a nice day to go. Yeah, I got a line. I'm a caller. The whole team. Is get the line that I'm going to pull off the reel onto a spool so I don't have a mess here. Try to keep it semi organized. Okay. Yep. Here's where the fun begins. Oh man, this thing. He said he worked on it for about 45 minutes or so. So, definitely interested in on seeing how long it would take us to get it out. You know, and sometimes too, you gotta pay attention because sometimes a loop will catch there and it'll hit and hit and hit and hit. And you're like, man, why isn't it not coming out? There's nothing catching. It's because simple like that. Sometimes it catches over here on the back side as well. So let's see what we got here. This is scary, guys. This is. <laughs> oh, oh. Now, I got an idea. It might help it, but I really don't want to do it. And it's unsplicing the 60 to 100, because the 60's right there. It's only a few yards in. Sometimes that helps, <clears throat> and then you can splice it back in, but that's the other thing about this braid is like, it really takes a massive, massive backlash to make me want to do that. You know, and just with the timer strength that I've got today, because I still got several deliveries going out, and gotta hit the road because it's Father's Day weekend, guys. I want to go fishing. Hmm. Figure that out. 
what I'm doing guys is I'm finding all the loops all these ends and I'm trying to straighten out all these loops so that way they're not tangled up on one another so that way when I do pull see how that one's kind of by itself it don't have another line in it and then let's see about this one see how it's around other lines so what I want to do is trying to figure out how I can get them by themselves so I notice when I untangle all those and it does make it easier for me to move through this line a lot faster See, that really does help it Let me do this. Let me mount this. It might make it easier because I'm trying to hold it. At the same time, I'm trying to move back and forth. And every so often after I get a few knots undone, I just go back to my main line and I check it. To see if those were the knots I needed to get undone. But don't pull very hard because you, you don't want to lock it all up again. And yes, it's a tangled mess, but this is definitely a challenge because with solid braids, you'll never get this out. Once it locks up like this, it's a done deal. This is hollow core, 16 strand Cortland, so we definitely are uh, gonna get it. It's just gonna take some time, you know. So yeah, remember those two loops that were real small a little while ago? Now look how long they are. See, what's really getting me is these two lines right here, how all this is underneath it. So I'm wondering if I get that out, will it really help me clear a lot of this mess out? So I'm going to try it. did loosen it up quite a bit. So, uh -huh.
How you doing? Hi. How can I help you? Yeah, the myth, the legend. <laughs> I finally see you. Finally meet you. All right. I watch all your videos. Thank you. Thank you. Are you making a video right now? Mm hmm Right there. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I'll look around. All right. And what, what was your name? My name's Richard. Richard? Arizona. Another Marine that's always saying you super fly and everything. All right. Yeah. How you doing, brother? Uh, yep. Yeah, no customer brought in a he hit a bird on cast and it blew up his reel. <laughs> so he doesn't want to throw it away. I said, Well, I can give it a shot. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, you I'm trying not to. I need to go fishing. <laughs> Yeah, we finally started getting those sizes in. No, a customer hit a bird on on cast. $432.99. They are so worth it, too. I used to have all the other types of reels, and then when I started fishing with these, I was like, man, this one can do what this one and this one and this one can do. And, yeah. and yeah, it just did did not take long for me to want to switch over. You could bring in anything with those rock and roll reels too. Uh huh. Have you played with them yet? No. Hmm. I was talking to your partner here. I've been here like four or five times already. Every time the company says he just left, I say I always miss you. Yeah, well, I would have already been on the road, but we've been about three guys short for about four days, so we're playing catch up right now. But um, this will be the first Father's Day in probably four or five years that I actually am planning to go fishing. So. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be out on a private charter on Sunday. Oh, nice. No, I don't want that. <laughs> I was telling him that every time I come, I talk to you because he's never here. You always, always miss him. Mm -hmm. He ain't missing much. <laughs> <laughs>
the mm -hmm. majority of the packages are either big reds or big uglies. Or when I'm fishing in San Antonio, I go fishing in the broad new color yeah. reds. I bring in reds or catfish. <coughs> I do. Uh, What's your Surf fishing. Oh, sorry. It's just what I, mean, I got a big old fish for surf fishing. I got a big old 15 footer and a 10 footer. But uh, we hardly ever go. Like when, when I come down here, majority of the time I go either Packery Channel or. Okay, what what size av uh, ambassadors are you using? Uh, seven thousand. Mainly. Yeah, I got seven thousand sixty five hundred, and I got six thousand series. Okay, out, out of all, out of all of those, which one do you like casting the best? Mm, I would say the sixty five hundred series. So MXO would be your best bet because that's right in the same real size as that you like. Because if you go too big, then it you know you're not going to use it as often. We yeah. go too small, it's kind of in the same boat. You, yeah. you like to cast a certain size. So yeah. so that's the MXO saying. is going to be your best bet. That, that, just because it's bigger doesn't mean that's there anything better to suit you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you don't have a, uh, what color do you want? Oh. Sorry, what color do you want? Uh, we got the green, red. Got blue? Uh, I think it's either blue or purple. on a high-speed cast, so it went from 100 and something miles an hour to zero in yeah. a split second, so it, it yeah. blew up. Yeah, literally so blew up. why don't you just cut it? I could cut it, but I also, I mean, yeah, I can splice it and stuff like that. It's just, I want to show, without doing all of that, that it can be done. Oh. You know, a lot of people, <laughs> um, with solid braid, once it nuts up like this, it's done. It locks up. You can't get it undone. And yeah, I could sit there and I can cut the one. Well, actually, I don't even have to cut it. Watch, I'll show you this. One. See how it goes from green to white? Yeah. Okay. It won't come apart, right? But if you go to the middle, turned and you missed it. Oh, I see. It's spiced. Mm-hmm. No, I heard noise in the back. So yeah, we, yeah, that's our workers right there. <laughs> so, so. What's it that you want to look at? The back of the bridge. Yeah, probably the back of the bridge. Well, guys, since y'all heard me uh, unsplice it, I'm going to go ahead and just start walking it down. <laughs> <laughs> Be spoiling? Unless you want to. I'll take this to the desk and work over there. Okay, I missed that. If the wire is so hard, how are you able to just pull it apart? Because it's a Chinese finger trap. 
Remember played with those as a yeah, kid? Yeah, you, you're, you're pulling like this, it, get, it gets hard, but what so you got to do is push it in, it and then you push on the edges is a way to get off. Well, this one is inverted. So it's pulling out that way. Instead what you got to do is you got to push it in in the middle to get them out. Okay. It, 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 yeah, basically all it's doing <laughs> is the tighter you pull it, the more pressure it puts on it, and yeah. Okay. It, yeah. Most of the time when you tie a knot, it, it reduces the line strength. But with this one, it actually increases it to 110% of the line breaking strength. So your knot on this stuff is now not your weakest point. Um, cool. and that's why I don't mind cutting like this. I could pretty much cut it, put it all together. He'll lose a few feet, right. but I don't want to be doing all of that. I want to show people that it can that be it done can without be done. without cutting it. Yes. Right. Okay. Do you ever just, just no, <laughs> ask your questions. That's why I, I, I did the shop the way I did it because a lot of people they want to ask these questions, but they're afraid to. You're never going to learn if you don't ask. So that's why me. Most of the time, he's either Googling or he's watching our shows. Yeah. Well, I do appreciate that because, I mean, without y'all watching, I wouldn't be able to keep doing what I do. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. so I, I want to see my shows and I end up seeing them on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of insurance companies don't believe how much we pay for our gear. Yeah. So this makes it your job a lot easier instead of writing with them. Just, yeah. <laughs>
one, brother? The hook by that one? Yeah. They're twelve. They're twelve ninety nine. Yep. And the hooks by themselves? Nine ninety nine. I got some right there. By the the hook by themselves without the cable. Yeah. No, that that big J hook right in front of you. Yeah. Yeah, it's a stainless steel hook. I got it, I got it. Woohoo! <laughs>